Hi, I am here with Corey. Corey is the handsome gentleman on the podcast, so he's here in the flesh. Here. Thank you, Corey, mm -hmm. for joining us. We are going to show you how to adjust our Henry Entertainment Unit. This piece has been with us from the first generation of the Jay Bennett collection. I live with this piece and one of my doors was starting to stick. And I said, Corey, why does my door stick? And he said, because you have to level it. And I was like, can we show everybody how to do it? Not just me. And so Corey's here to show you how to level it and also how to adjust the hinges to make sure your piece doesn't stick. None of our houses are plumb level or square. You might even think it's sitting on a hardwood floor. That's also true that that's never gonna be fully, fully in line, right? Yeah, yeah, so, so the Henry Entertainment Unit is so smart. Every single leg is adjustable and um, also the hinges are adjustable, right? Yep. So Corey's gonna show you how to do it. I'll get out of your way. Thanks, Jess. Thank you. So first step, you wanna start in leveling from left to the right of the cabinet. And in order to do that, you need a level. I recommend a four foot level, but if you have a two foot one, that's okay too. You can just move it down the cabinet, but it needs to run parallel with the cabinet. Adjust each of these legs here. If you notice, there is a small foot adjustment on each of them. And that's the front row as well as the back row. So if it's unlevel to the left, you're going to have, have someone help you lift the cabinet up and then you're gonna adjust that foot. You're gonna turn it to the right to extend the foot, therefore lift the cabinet up. So we've already adjusted these hinges, so these doors are opening properly like they should. Since we've leveled the cabinet, this door is now sticking and not working properly. So now we'll show you how to adjust those hinges so it doesn't rub on either the top or the bottom rail of the cabinet. One thing to keep in mind when adjusting these doors is that each door was meant to have a 16th of an inch gap all the way around it. And right here, you'll have about an eighth of an inch gap because of the two doors. You want this gap to be very uniform. Uh, therefore, that'll, that'll stop it from, from each door rubbing together. And if you have a door rubbing on the top right here, you're gonna wanna adjust the bottom hinge and vice versa. If it's rubbing on the bottom, you wanna adjust this top hinge. And then that's what will level it out for you. Next, we're gonna talk about adjusting the hinges. You just need a Phillips screwdriver to do so. It has two adjustment points. There's a screw on the front of the hinge arm and the back of the hinge arm. Uh, the, the one in the front adjusts it from left to right and the back adjusts it from front to back. So you can really manipulate these doors in any way that you want to. And when adjusting them, I just recommend a quarter turn at a time because a little bit goes a long way and you don't wanna overcorrect your issue. Now that we've adjusted this door, it's no longer sticking and works perfectly. We just took the first adjustment screw in here and just turned it a little bit to the right to drop it. And now it's works smoothly. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, email online support. Their email is support at alicelanehome.com.